Hi, this is Saad Hamadi, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to install and set up the Yoast SEO plugin. So let's dive right in. All right, so you're in the dashboard area. So come over here to where it says plugins and go to add new. And we're looking for SEO by Yoast. So it's this one right here, SEO Yoast, enter. And it's this one right here. As you can see, it has more than a million active installs. So let's go ahead and click on install now. And then click on activate. Now, if you come down here, you see where you can start a tour. But my tour that I'm about to give you is more comprehensive. So let's just go ahead and click on close. And you notice that in your dashboard, you now have an SEO menu item added. So I'll go ahead and explain these options. So let's start with the first one. So let's click on general. Right here under general, you can start a tour or view changes or restore to default. Once again, we're not going to start the tour. Let's just go ahead and click on your info. This is your website name. So in my case, the default name is Design Studio. This is the alternate name, but I choose to leave that empty. And right here, you can choose whether this is a company or a person. Let's say, for instance, just a person and then your name. I can click on save changes, but let me go to the webmaster tools. This is an important step that you should pay attention to. If your website is already verified with these services, then you can just disregard this and proceed. But a lot of people don't understand what this is about. So I will go ahead and verify with Google and Bing. And honestly, these two are what you should really put much weight on. This is not to say that Alexa and Yandex are not important, but if you do Google and Bing, then you've done much of the heavy lifting. So I will do Bing and Google. So to do Bing, let's go ahead and click here. And this brings you to this Bing Webmaster Tools box. If you've already signed up, you can just go ahead and click on sign in. If you have not, then you need to sign up with a Microsoft account. But I already signed up, so I'll go ahead and click on sign in. And these are my credentials, so I'll go ahead and click on sign in. And this is the Bing Webmaster Tool interface. So if you haven't added your website, what you need to do is enter the URL here. So in my case, this is wpdesignstudio.net. So let's go ahead and click on add. Then it's going to ask you this question about when do you receive the most traffic to the site? I just leave that at the default all day. So then click on add. So now all you need to do is copy this portion between the quotation marks right here. And it's actually hard to do it this way, but you also have it right here. So let's just go ahead and copy it here. Copy and go back to Yoast and paste it right here. Click save changes. Now let's go back and let's go ahead and verify. Let's go down and click on verify. And voila, Bing has just created a webmaster profile for our website. Now let me go ahead and close out of this since I don't need it anymore. And let's go ahead and verify Google. So to do that, let's go ahead and click here on Google Search Console. There are a lot of ways to do it. The easiest one and it's the one that I would recommend is click where it says alternate methods and click on where it says HTML tag. And this is the code you need. Basically between these quotation marks right here. So let me go ahead and copy this whole thing. I think there's actually another, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and copyright until you get to this quotation mark and click on copy. And let's go back to our Yoast and let's go ahead and paste that here. Save changes. And now let's go back and let's go ahead and click on verify. And as you can see, our Google Webmaster profile has also been created. So let me close out of this. You can also do this for Alexa and Yandex. Yandex is very popular in Russia. Alexa used to be a bigger deal, but not anymore. But it doesn't hurt to add both of these, Alexa and Yandex. So now let's go to security. And I would leave this as is. Same for this one. I would leave these two unchanged. So now let me go back. We've tackled the general. Now let's go ahead and click on titles and metas. 
for the titles and metas, I would leave everything as is, including the home page, the post types, taxonomies, and the archives, and the other. You really don't need to change these unless you want to. But right now, I'm just getting you started. Once you get comfortable with Yoast, you can always revisit these options and change them. But I honestly don't recommend doing so anyway, because you don't need to. For the social, this is where you add in your social media profiles. You can add them all, or you can add only a few, or you can choose not to add any, but I'm going to add them. So I will pause until I add all of my profiles. So I just added five of them. So let's go ahead and click on Save Changes. I will leave these as is. I'm not going to change anything here, although you certainly can. So now let's go back. I will be doing a separate video on XML side maps. And I'm also done with the setup. I'm not touching these. Now we go to the fun part, and that is optimizing a page or a post. I will go ahead and add a new post. So let's go to Posts, Add New. You probably already noticed this little SEO icon, which we did not have before. But now we have it because we installed the plugin. Also, if we scroll down, you will notice this whole new panel that says Yoast SEO. This is where we're going to be conducting magic right here. I have grown to love this little space right here. So let's go ahead and add something. Let's give our post a title and the title that I'm choosing is weight loss. So let's go down and see what happens. So as you can see, my score is still gray and this means that my post is not optimized. So let's go ahead and add some content. So I just went ahead and copied and pasted something from an article that I found on WebMD. Let me actually show you. This is not my content. This is just done for the purpose of a demo. So let's go down to see if anything has changed. Well, we have one green dot and a score of 85.2 on the flush reading ease test, which I honestly have never even heard of that, but that's a progress. So let's come over here. So this panel right here is where you customize the snippet preview. And the snippet preview is what people will see on Google and other search engines. For instance, let's come over here. Let's for instance search for how to lose weight. So this is the title and this is the permalink and this is the snippet. And this is an ad anyway, but this also goes for organic results. So if we were to come over here, title, permalink, and snippet. And so this snippet is very important. If we were able to write a compelling, short, and sweet snippet, you want people to be able to glance at it and then click. If it's boring or if it doesn't exist, then you're really doing yourself a disservice. So let's go back. So by default, Yoast is grabbing the first sentences which normally this is what search engines do. If your website is not optimized, Google and other search engines will just show as a snippet the first sentences that they will pull from your text. But you don't want that. And that's why this is really handy. So we wanna go ahead and change this meta description. But before I do this, and to harness the power of this plugin, what I will do is go ahead and choose a focus keyword. And as the name implies, this is essentially a keyword that we want to focus on. So since our article is about weight loss, I wanna go ahead and make my focus keyword weight loss. And already we have some activities going on here, but let's not even worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and edit our snippet. So even though this snippet right here looks compelling, let's go ahead and make it something else. So let's go ahead and click on edit snippet. And one of the best practices that you can do with Yoast, but with SEO in general, is to make sure that your snippet area or meta description area contains the focus keyword. Our default snippet right here does not contain the keyword. So why don't I even make it the first word? So I will say something like weight loss is not as hard as you think if you can follow you're not supposed to go above 140 characters, or I believe 150 characters, I'm not sure. But anyway, this indicator right here is going to guide me. I'm getting close to the limit, but I'm not there yet. So just do the following fun exercises. And right now I'm in the green. So I only have a few more characters before I go to red. Fast. 
I know that this is about the right number of characters. Let's see if I add this. And right there. So I guess I can still add a couple more words. So that's good right there. So right now everything looks good as far as our snippet. This is how it would look like. So if our article was to appear on a search engine, it would look something like this, except ours would look just like this. So now let's go down here. And now you're noticing that we're getting more green and more orange. So the first thing that we need to take care about is increase our word count. And obviously, our article is very short. Once again, this was just done for a demo. Why don't we actually go ahead and I'll go ahead and copy and paste. And I'll go ahead and copy and paste. So now we have 360 words. So let's go down. But if I go down below, it says the text contains 383 words. What used to be a red dot, letting me know that I only have a few words, is now a green dot. It says the focus keyword weight loss does not appear in the page title. Well, it actually does. Oh, it looks like I had it wrong all along. Weight loss. Ah, look at how many green dots we have. Let's move up here. And hey, look at that. Our post has a beautiful green dot. So right now, we are good to go. Now, in reality, you want to make sure that your article is much more coherent because this one is really not. I don't even really know. This is just something that I pulled from a website. But of course, I know that your posts are much better than this one. So let's go down here. So our traffic light is green. So green means go. So we can just go ahead and click on publish. But I don't want to publish yet. Now, I really suggest that you leave this as is. But let's go ahead and click on the share icon or the social icon. If you want to share your post on Facebook or if you want to tweet it on Twitter, this is what you do. Let's go back to Facebook. You can go ahead and grab a title for your Facebook. And I would suggest that you make it the same title as your article title. So make this weight loss. For the Facebook description, you can make this the same as your meta description. Of course, you can change this. But we worked very hard to make our snippet compelling. So why not make it the same for our Facebook description? So I just copy that one. And for the Facebook image, you can make this the same as your featured image, which I have not set a featured image for the article. But you can make them different or you can make it the same. Before Yoast, this was not easy. In the past, whenever I tried to share an article on Facebook, I normally needed to wait a little bit for Google to grab it and display it and then share it because otherwise Facebook can grab whatever it wants to grab. But now with Yoast, you're in control of your Facebook shares and that's really handy. Same thing goes for Twitter. You can just repeat the same process. Now you are good to go. You can just go ahead and set a featured image, which I'm not going to do that, but I'm pretty sure you already know how to do that. And then go ahead and publish your post. You have a well-optimized post thanks to Yoast. And look at that. You just optimized your post using the Yoast plugin. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And also please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.